Hey there, lovely soul. I'm Infinity and welcome to the April full moon 2021 reading for Aquarius. So this is for Aquarius cross watchers for your sun, moon or rising sign. And I do encourage you to check out all of the videos to get a full picture of what's coming up for you. I'm Infinity. I'm a shaman and mystic, uh, medical medium, psychic, physical, empath, remote distance uh, quantum healer, obviously tarot and oracle reader. I work with people and their animals worldwide. My website is The Healing Butterfly. Dot org and there you'll find lots of information from ebooks to um, videos and lots of information about me and what I do. Obviously, my services um, that I offer from ascension coaching to private tarot and oracle readings to working with you, your pets, and all that good stuff. And I'll be offering new services coming soon. And right now I have a special for mediumship. So if you're interested in mediumship services, one of the, my favorite things to do, please check out my website for awesome deals going on through May 15th, inspired by Mother's Day. And without further ado, Aquarius, let's get into your reading, starting with the, the Moonology Oracle. We have emotions are running high. Well, they're Aquarius. Emotions are running high. Let's see what else we get for you and what this means for you. We got this card uh, for Scorpio, actually. And um, this is a super moon card. So it's not even full moon. It's a super moon, as you can see here. It's a super moon. And... Um, I'm feeling though with you, it's di it's, a, it's a taking on a different meaning than what it did for Scorpio as this has Terra and Oracle works. Um, same card, different meaning. And here what I'm seeing is, is that you're processing some deep emotions about people in your life about your role in certain circumstances. Um, so let's dive a little deeper with a card here from the Archangel Oracle from Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who, whoops, who are sensitive. So aside from that being true, and you're good with people that are younger than you is what I'm getting here. You have a younger vibe. People that are younger than you and children in general. But, you know, if you're 50, it's like, I love hanging out with 25-year-olds. That's awesome. Like more than I'll hang out with a 60-year-old. Like you're closer in age to people younger than you. You are an old soul with a very young spirit. It's a really awesome combination. So I would definitely nurture that. But this is also, if I'm speaking to, to a parent, this is also about you connecting with your own children, about teaching them about the wonderful, magical things of spirituality. Um, about being psychic and empathic because crystal children means empathic children. I wish it would just say empath children, indigo and, and crystal children are empath children or people that are empaths. And so that means you're an empath. If you're a parent of a child that's an empath, most likely you're an empath as well, um, especially if you're here in my space. Uh, next card, healthy lifestyle. Our next card actually was outdoors with Joe Fiel. Go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. So there's Joe Fiel guiding you outside. Spend time outside. Um, not just to, I'm hearing, not just to, you know, water the yard, to do stuff you have to do, but just to go for a walk, to be outside, to go for a hike, to have a picnic, to sit on the beach, to camp in the desert, you know, all these different things that you could do outdoors that isn't like 
well, I'm getting outdoor time while I'm doing this other thing. It's no, just specific. You're going outdoors to do outdoor stuff. <clears throat> and especially if you have children, definitely, you know, it's good to do stuff alone, but it's also great to take your children out into the outdoors as well. And next card with Raphael is eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. So I'm also feeling here like I'm getting this, <laughs> I'm getting this from Raphael kind of coming in. He's showing me a clock and he's showing me a 24 hour clock. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is annoying. I had some almonds in my break. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> they're <were> sticking. <coughs> Okay, sorry about that. All right. So he's showing me a 24 hour clock and it's like, there isn't enough downtime. Like there's always busy or chaos or people or something. And it's like, you know, eating here and there and sleeping here and there or or not sleeping enough or getting very little sleep and then having one day out of two weeks or something where you sleep for 12 hours straight. It's like, oh, it's my day to catch up. It doesn't really work that way. <laughs> Raphael is going, no. <laughs> He's just like, mm -mm. you can't maintain a healthful lifestyle when it's out of balance, period. Very simple. So maybe our up and our downs shift and change because they do. Um, when you go to sleep, when you wake up, when you're tired, when, when, you know, all of those things, um, does change and we need to change with it. But at the same time, we're talking about like, I'm seeing like that, that burning the candle at both ends kind of thing and getting down to not much. And that's why our emotions will be run high. That's why we'll be emotional. That's why, um, we will like be quick to react instead of waiting to respond being a being reactionary being out of alignment with our true soul loving selves is working from a programmed state of altered consciousness which comes typically from some type of fear-based or loss of control um issue okay let's move on to the archangel portion of my angel tarot i just pull out i pulled out the um major arcana which is the archangels so we just heard from the archangels with um with the archangel oracle but i'm again pulled to the archangel tarot the major arcana here to get a card and here it is unity with archangel sandalphon so we have traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seek out mentors and like-minded friends so this really speaks to changing your perspective like traditional viewpoints it means like study academia bibles um established religion stuff like that but it also speaks to the opposite of that, like leaving that behind or leaving that and shifting your perspective to um, more, I guess, new age, more, you know, other things that are not so conformative. So if you were brought up with religion, if you can, you know, quote the Bible or if you went to Sunday school or if you were brought up in in um in that sort of thing or you weren't but you're like really interested either way it's a really good idea to think about expanding your awareness and your knowledge and connecting through groups through youtube channels through um you know individuals or whatever to a spiritual type of of person or or organization or group so you can get in into a space where you feel comfortable because it's not it's not religion that could be your your basis 
Hey, can we stop, please? Sorry, my cats are bitching at each other. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so it could be that your viewpoint has been more traditional. And when you've had the ability or the opportunity to kind of step out of that, it's been like this, this like, oh, I'm not very comfortable with that. But at the same time, it's like, I know that that's where the truth lies and kind of the answers to my questions or the solutions to my problems is really kind of more like it. Um, so there's that. Let's move on now to... Where are we going? We're going to the Shadowscapes Tarot. Each one of these readings for the full moon, I'm using different cards, different numbers of cards. It's just very free flow here. Uh, three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles are the ones that just popped. Cards have been popping big time just as I'm shuffling. There's another couple cards. Knight of Swords, King of Cups. Interesting. And Six of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Cups, right side up. Three of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, so the whole family is here. I had a feeling we we're going to see. see everybody. We have a knight, we have a king, we have a queen, we have a page. Hmm? Um, and I was really picking up on this. I wanted to wait to see what we got. So aside from that, we have two threes. And we have a, a, a Ten of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So flow... It hasn't been an easy road, I'm feeling, when it comes to family, when it comes to um, communication, when it comes to relationships. Uh, but there is love there deep down. I feel that there is love. There's deep soul connections, but there's this control factor, even a narcissistic factor, a, um, a, uh, a real wound up tight type of energy. But underneath it all, <coughs> if you could strip away the chaos and the drama that can come up that with the different personalities, egos, souls, um, perspectives, definitely. And emotions are definitely, definitely... Um, and get some more tarot here to clarify but like I said the whole family is here so the whole family has been involved in this or what you could consider the whole family um, but I really do see this as a family unit so um, as like literal family but for some of you this could be friends um, uh, that sort of thing but I feel this is closer than that. I feel that this is blood related, honestly. And that that something is going on here with 
you, Aquarius, where you're maybe seeing everybody a little differently than you have before. And yourself. You're seeing yourself differently than you have before. You're recognizing things that are below the surface, that, are, that aren't so superficial, like... Um, yeah, how do I put that? Like, there's what is said, what is felt, and like what the truth is. And, and a lot of that has been kind of shaped in different ways. It's so certain people can maintain a certain mask of who they are or how, you know, good they are or that it's not their fault. And that could be you, Aquarius. I'm um, just being honest here. It could be that, you know, the need to control these different people or to, to have your say in the way that they interact with each other even. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, another Three of Cups. Oh, I've got this right side up. I wasn't even paying attention. King of Pentacles reversed over the king of cups oh that's interesting that is interesting let's get some more here the magician two of cups a lot of cups four of cups we have two three and four cups and the lovers yeah okay definitely <laughs> These readings have been so like, you said that, here are the cards to show what you're talking about. Um, I mean, it's usually like that, but it's just really interesting right here. Um, so I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine, a motherly type figure, to be honest with you, or the lead of the group, the leader of the group, the boss in the, in the, in the office the but i again i keep going back to no this is blood this is family but it could be it could be those other things too it could be as thick as blood it could be water but as thick as blood i'm also seeing here too this is a situation here we have the four of pentacles so this energy is coming through telling me your feeling so like she's holding her purse uh, <laughs> bug <laughs> awesome um but this is like the sh what i'm getting with this in particular with this reading is like i want to be in control I, I i have been in control, control or trying to be in control but this knight of pentacles coming in right um um on top of the ten of pentacles and with that imagery as being like, but you haven't been in control because you can't control other people. And even other people, like those people that you try to, you know, it's like I see puppet strings. Like I'm trying to, you know, navigate all these different people so things happen the way I want them to happen. But it can't work like that. And we have literally, we have ten King of Pentacles and King of Cups on top of each other and one is one is right side up and one is in reverse the one that's right side up is the emotional one the the king of cups the one that's upside down is the king of pentacles he's stable he's secure he has all his ducks in a row he has the love of his life he has his money he has his empire he has now it's just come to me and let me tell you how you know give you advice for how to do what i've done because i'm so secure and everything but he's in reverse so that's not what's going on here and again i said the family is all here the family is all here um Above the Page of Cups, we have the Lovers. And above the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. And take a look at that imagery. Let me give it a second so you can see what that looks like. We have the Two of Cups above the Queen of Cups in reverse. And we have the Magician above the Six of Pentacles. And they're both in reverse. So there's flow. There's magic here. There's, there's definite, like, 
power and willful type energy, but it's not being directed in a unifying unity type of way because instead of directing your energy to you, it feels like your energy is like into construction of the reality and of dealing and working with other people. And, and the emotions that come with that has taken its toll over the years for sure. And there is a fracture here, either with everybody, like the whole family is just not in speak, not on speaking terms, not in communicating, or there's just pockets of people, or these people talk to that person, that person, this person, but not this person, this person doesn't talk to anybody, and this person, like that sort of thing, because of all of this muck that's gotten um, in between everybody. With and I'm not putting it all on you, Aquarius, but. You have had a definite heavy hand in how this puzzle is being constructed. I'm gonna put that out there. I cannot not say that. Let's get into the archetypes with the tools. Now, the archetype cards come with um, selves, places, tools, and initiations or themes. And we're just working with the tools card here or tools cards and let's see what we that card that card was definitely it the vessel the vessel interesting i'm going to read directly from the book two oh five Okay. Oh, two or three. Sorry. Okay. The body, the container, the cup. <laughs> so more cups, a lot of cups here. Um, the vessel may be the most powerful, powerful archetypal form on earth. It is everywhere. Cups hold liquid. Stoves hold fire. Our bodies hold organs. Our homes hold families. There's that family theme. Through the simple act of separation, the vessel protects what it contains. Nest protects eggs. Savings accounts protect our earnings. Even the planets are contained within their circular orbit. When this card appears, it's time to ass assess what is being held together and how. Is, it a is, is the vessel too tight, too loose, broken, empty, full? Or perhaps there is no vessel at all and the contents spill in every direction it is natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart the vessel has a life cycle that must be honored is it time for you to build break or repair you must find out oh boy <laughs> aquarius the vessel, the cup, what is in your container? What is yours to take responsibility for, to heal, to repair, like, like it said, to repair. So that's what I'm feeling here. You are the leader, the matriarch, the mother, and, um, or that type of energy. And it is up to you as the vessel. If you have, if, if this is your family, if this is, are your children or the people that you nur are too nurtured to be, that are under you, so to speak, then you, then you hold them like the, the mother, the vessel, the vessel holding the, the baby, you know, that sort of thing. So it's your responsibility to step up and say even though the entire mess and everybody's bullshit and actions isn't all on me because i'm in this position i'm the queen i take responsibility for trying to do my best to t to own my part to speak my truth to live from authentic authenticity of just who i am because i feel like we're dealing with ad all adults here or older children um, and if you are if you're a mother of a younger family then this is your call that says don't try to control all of the factors in the family don't try to control your children again if they're empaths if they're if they're um, rainbows or indigos anything 
something like this, everybody is so unique and so sensitive to energy. And I'm hearing um, if there has been deception, if there has been lies and manipulation, even if it was for the greater good to help this one out or to get this one to do this or to not get somebody to do something or to save people from hurt or trauma or the truth, um, that's not the way to, to do this. For true unity in a family, for true unity within the structure, we need to have a situation where we're working out of a sense of authenticity and the truth and um, what is in the vessel? What is your container? What is yours? What is positive? What is negative? What needs to go? What needs to stay? What needs to be repaired? Where are the fractures with your relationship with the with these people? And what can you do to repair it? What can you do to to make amends? Um, and again, I'm not putting this all off on you, but I do feel like I'm talking to somebody who is in a power position to not manipulate to not control but to try to mend things um not to con again not to control everybody like i'm gonna make this all work and we're gonna be all one big happy family we're gonna have christmas together work on everything each person individually and um and see your relationship with them and how you are with them and what the energy is with them so what i would suggest for you to do here lovely aquarius because i do feel there is so much we have two we have two three of cups that came up two of cups that came up we have the magician so we have a really powerful dynamic here and that could be also part of the problem is that not everybody understands how powerful each individual is and how their energies work and affect off of each other so what tends to happen in that in a quant in quantum physics is when there's too much of that they they they'll either mesh together or they'll or they'll move further apart and what I feel here is there's been a moving further apart because there's so much dynamic energy with each and every one of you that it's just like, I can't, you know, and it just, it just kind of blows up. So, um, but again, there is a lot of emotion. There is a lot of history, a lot of soul base, a lot of karmic history here um, from past lifetimes as well as this lifetime and the opportunity to heal the opportunity for unity the opportunity to to reunite for happiness is here we have the kings that are that are present um one is right side up one is upside down the one that you know is the more secure one the more abundant one the more stable one and so but he can turn around um with some work not a whole lot um, so the, these are things to consider. We have, we have, like I said, we have the whole family here. We have the lovers card. That doesn't mean always romantic love. It means deep, in deep, passionate uh, love, and that could be family and friends as well as lovers. And so, um, so that is definitely something to think about, to really consider um, for yourself, dear lovely Aquarius. Last but not least, I'm being told, let's get a, that didn't take long. Let's get a crystal card here. Teacher, oh, look at this. This is the wolf card card, another three. And wow. So really you're being divinely guided teacher here with card number 30 as you can see we have the wolf and his pop or her pop and um oh this is beautiful you can be the teacher you can really you can really come out of you know of this as you know the the one that 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 really leads the way to unity really teach by example and really should don't tell but show how things are changing how you are changing how you want this to change how you want the family to uh, or you to relate to the family or the people or whoever these people are like again it really feels family it really feels familiar to me 
All right, dear Aquarius, I want to thank you so much for being here, receiving these messages. Please let me know if they resonate with you. Leave a comment, hit the like if it does, and please share as well. And don't forget to check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org, for all sorts of offerings, free ebooks, meditations, my podcast, all sorts of stuff on there, and that special on mediumship going on through the 15th of uh, May. And uh, until next time, lovely Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. Infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.